I'm talking about relationships. Uh, just because simply relationships define our lives. Our connecting and relating to people make who we are. And it's so crucial that we get our relationships right. And of course, uh, we began by saying your relationship with God is central to all other relationships. And for that, we are forever grateful that Jesus Christ came to give His life so that we can be restored in a right relationship with our Heavenly Father. That sets the tone for all other relationships. Then we also remark that um, you can only love others in a sense as you love yourself. So you, you've got to have peace with yourself. Uh, you've got to like yourself, love yourself um, in order to love others. Um, if you don't like yourself after all, it's not really going to help you to get along perfectly well with everyone else. But today I want to turn the focus outward to begin to touch on how we relate with other people. And the first thing I would like to put down um, as, as, as a point of departure is simply this. It has been my experience after having been on earth for a few years, simply that this is a great truth when it comes to relationships. Very, very honestly, I must say to you that I have found the major reason for breakdown in relationships, be it you and your mom and your dad, your children, your teacher, your boss, your colleague, whoever. The major reason for breakdown in relationships is unmet expectation. Unmet expectation. And I would like to suggest one or two things that we need to ask God to help us with when it comes to our relationship expectations. And the first thing I want to say is that the, the reality of life is that at some time, every relationship around you need to be adjusted. So if you're beginning to find that certain relationships or people for that matters is, is not meeting your expectation, um, consider to adjust your expectation. It's not necessarily lower your expectation, but adjust it. And maybe get to, to a place of peace that, wow, maybe I've, I've just expected too much of that person. And maybe I need to cut them some slack. But also, um, I would like to say that, that certain seasons in life demand that of each other. When a, a little girl is born into a family, um, I, I think that's one of the proudest moments for parents. And especially dads can be very protective over their little girls. And they grow up with all kinds of jokes that if there's any boy that comes close, I'm going to wring his neck and all the rest of it. But the fact of the matter is, one day, most probably, in the pursuit of, of the furtherance of humanity, that father will have to walk his daughter down the aisle and give her away to a young man. And that moment requires a redefining of that relationship. The father could refuse and keep his doctor, daughter rather locked at home, but that would not end well. So in, in, in any event, there's these places and moments that come along in our lives that we have to say, God help me to redefine this or that relationship because there's a new season. And in fact, your ongoing good relationship will depend on whether you, have, you find the grace to redefine that relationship. Again, not lower the expectation, but adjust it. And, and that father and daughter can continue to have a wonderful relationship, but they would need to, re to redefine how they relate so that actually there's room for relational growth and, and there's a new family that can start. And so my prayer for you today is that God will help you instead of being constantly disappointed with people around you, maybe to adjust your expectations. And just discern what season you're going in to with that particular person and speak to them about the expectations you have of one another. And I pray that God will help you find the grace to redefine your relationships so that they may continue and your life and others through you can be blessed. I trust for God's help to be very present in your life with this process. God bless you.